to incorporate into their daily lives and has numerous positive effects on the body that go far beyond just shedding a few pounds or gaining some muscle. Without exercise, our body is more susceptible to diseases such as cardiovascular disease, obesity, and even depression. However, with exercise, these problematic symptoms of a sedentary lifestyle can be reduced or even eliminated and replaced with an improvement of mood, more energy, and less stress. In what ways would exercise benefit college students? Um, so one of the major ways that it's helped me as a college student is um, helping me feel better overall and have a better mood and um, also it's helped me academically because in the classroom once I exercise it helps me just feel more focused and be able to have um, pay attention to more assignments and um, just be calm and kind of not stress about stuff. Also I just think overall it puts you in a better mood when you exercise and so that's very important for college kids because we can really get stressed and worn down um, in our daily lives with school so it kind of gives an alternative and a healthy way to release our stress. I'm sure all of you can agree that the daily life of a college student can be stressful and exercise is not always the first thing on our minds. Between balancing school, a social life, and possibly even work, most students have a hard time fitting exercise into their schedules. On the other hand, Working in just 30 minutes of exercise a day can help students see dramatic effects on not only their body, but with their academics as well. This can in include improvement in study skills, concentration, memory, and problem solving skills. As an exercise science major, what kind of role does exercise play in your life? Um, so exercise for me is a huge stress reliever. Uh, when I came to college, I had a really um, big problem with stressing over everything. And so I turn to exercise for um, whenever I get worn down or just stressed out about school, I just go and work out. And it's really helped me improve my mood over the years and helped me um, just relax about stuff and not get distressed. Um, also, like, exercise is a huge part of being an exercise science major. Um, we all learn the benefits of it and how important it is and um, vital for us to exercise on a daily basis in order to keep our hearts healthy and bodies as healthy as they can be for the future. As an exercise so. science major, you are not only expected to study everything about the human body from bones to muscles to skin and tissues, but to also understand injury illness and prevention, examine how diet can affect the body, and learn how to condition the body. When I become an exercise science major, I plan to help everyone overcome their fears of exercise, cope with and prevent injuries as they exercise, and help them live longer and happier lives. Along with exercise, what other lifestyle changes could someone make to become healthier? Um, so a big part along with exercise in order to become the healthiest you can be is diet. Um, so avoiding processed foods, um, foods that have a lot of sugar, foods high in fat, um, stuff like that. So diet's a huge factor in making sure that you're um, getting as many calories as you need, but also that you're balancing um, the amount of calories you're expending with exercise, whereas the amount of calories you're intaking. So you have to have a balance between the two. Um, also, increasing sleep, making sure you get enough sleep each night, um, taking vitamins and minerals to daily supplement your body. Um, and other than that, just making sure to have um, a positive mood and be as happy as you can on a daily basis. Evolving into a healthier you does not only consist of becoming physically active. Diet, sleep, and even your attitude can affect your overall health. As you exercise, your body uses up the energy from food that you eat. 
This is why diet becomes essential when you transition from sedentary lifestyle to an active one. Studies show that lack of sleep influences your body the same way as a non-active lifestyle does, by causing health problems such as heart disease. Having a positive attitude, especially during times of stress, helps you not wear your body down as fast and in return can help you live a longer life. What kind of advice do you have for someone who wants to start exercising? Um, I'd say anybody that's wanting to start who hasn't been exercising before should just start taking it slow. Um, just start walking on a daily basis or doing any little thing to increase um, your exercise. So walking to class instead of driving or um, taking the steps instead of the elevator. Um, I would say just start slow and um, 30 minutes a day and then eventually just like increase your time and intensity and um, to where you'll be doing at least 60 minutes a day of any kind of either aerobic or um, resistance training, any of that stuff. So do, I just say take it slow and ask people for help if you need help figuring out what works best for your body. Not everyone is going to become a CrossFit competitor like Brittany here, but everyone can incorporate exercise into their life. Always start out slow and gradually increase your duration and intensity at a rate that you are comfortable with. Make sure to set reasonable goals for yourself. Don't ever be afraid to ask for help, rather it be from a friend or a personal trainer. Now let's get out there and get moving! When do you want to stop walking? I don't know when do you want to stop walking? I don't know when do you want to stop walking? I don't know when do you